That's but right now, it's time to show you this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Orlando Sentinel looks at an emergency landing overnight because of a cracked windshield. The pilot of American Airlines Flight 160 from Miami to Boston diverted to Orlando. Extensive cracking on the outer pane of the Boeing 757's front window made it hard to see. All 156 people aboard are safe. Our Orlando affiliate WKMG says a Florida man is dead after paramedics were sent to the wrong location. Number one, where's your emergency? Hey, we need some help. We're at the Warman Wreck, and one of our friends collapsed at the racquetball court. I don't know if it's a seizure or he passed out or what. Is that a park somewhere? Yeah, the uh, Warman Beach Recreational Center, like the Warman Wreck, okay. corner of Granada. Do you know where that is? Uh, huh? Okay, I'm listening. Granada and where? Yeah, actually, it's Nova Road and Will Matt in Ormond Beach. Is anyone coming? You can, yeah, they've been on the way. A 911 dispatcher has been suspended. Officials say she was distracted by her personal cell phone. She was supposed to be supervising a trainee who gave paramedics the incorrect address. Britain's Daily Mail says that Rupee is believed to be the first dog to reach base camp at Mount Everest. It took 10 days for Rupee and his owner to climb 17,000 feet above sea level. Rupee is a former stray rescue from a dump as a puppy. Wow. And the New York Times looks at the most expensive artwork ever sold at auction. A triptych by Francis Bacon fetched more than $142 million last night in New York. The 1969 work is called Three Studies of Lucian Freud. The buyer's name has not been revealed. Quite a painting. Indeed. Mm -hmm.